All right, listen up people, class is in session. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Sasha, not Sasha, Sasha. Today, I'm going to teach you how to slay with powder foundation. For reference, I have acne prone and I have oily skin. If you have oily skin and you don't use powder foundation like ever, you're missing out. I have a soft spot for powder foundation. All through high school and all through college, I used powder foundation. That was it. That was all I used. I like liquid foundation too, but I like them for two different reasons. When it comes to just like everyday wear, I prefer powder foundation. Now when I am doing a full face, the whole shebang, I want my makeup to last. I like to actually use both, a layer of liquid foundation and then I'll go on top of it with powder foundation. Here are the reasons. If you have oily skin, powder is your BFF, as you probably know. It feels lighter on the skin. As the day goes on, my oils will come through. Powder foundation on me looks more natural, especially if you're gonna be out like in the daylight. Now, if you have dry or normal skin, especially if you have dry skin, powder foundation might not look the best on you. Powder foundation looks less cakey on me. Even when I use liquid foundation, I try to just keep it to one layer. I find that once I start layering liquid foundation, that's when my skin starts to look cakey. It feels heavy on my skin. If you have powder foundation, you kind of learn how to maneuver it so you can learn how to have like a sheer coverage, a medium coverage, and it up to high coverage and I'm gonna talk about all that today. I've always had oily skin. I cannot speak for, I cannot attest to dry skin. I literally have no idea what it's like to have dry skin. I think that's why powder foundation has always worked for me. But that's not to say that powder foundation is super easy. There's kind of like a learning curve. There's pros and cons. One positive for like liquids, they're a little bit easier to maneuver. They look more glowy. Powders are kind of like once you put it down, you can blend it out and stuff. But for the most part, like once you put it down, it's kind of there. Like you can still buff it out and it is a little different from liquid. Anyway, today I'm gonna teach you how to slay with powder foundation. Let's get into actually using the foundation. Step number one, you need to moisturize really well. And I'm talking like borderline over moisturize. So for me personally, I like using Vanna cream, non-greasy, long-lasting moisturizing cream, easy to spread, quickly absorbed, and non-comedogenic, which is very important for me because I have acne prone skin. It is free of dyes, fragrance, masking fragrance, lanolin, parabens, and formaldehyde. I love using Vanna cream on my face because it gives me a really deep moisture. I live in the Midwest, so I get all four seasons. In the winter, spring and fall, I will use this morning and night. In the summer, when the weather is more humid and my skin isn't as dry, I will use this at night, but I will use a lighter moisturizer in the morning. My OG moisturizer is the Cetaphil Basic. That's what my dermatologist has always had me use. If you have any dry patches, you're going to find that powder will cling to the drier spots and it'll look a little different. Also, what I've noticed is when I have acne, which I actually have mostly scars right now, moisturize your acne spots really good because as your acne heals it kind of flakes that can be problematic when you're wearing a powder moisturize I cannot stress it enough step number two optional you can prime if you want I'm gonna prime today every day when I'm just going to work I don't prime Step number three, to use your creams or liquids before you go in with powder. Anybody who's into makeup probably knows that you use powder to set your liquids. Now me personally, because of my oily skin, I don't like to use cream contours. I don't like to use cream blushes. I don't like to use cream highlights. So on a normal day, I would just go in with my powder routine. Today, for the sake of the video, I am gonna do a tiny bit of concealer, e.l.f. matte camo concealer. We're gonna start with the powder. I like to go in first with a layer of translucent powder. If you have normal skin, maybe you don't want to do this. If you have super oily skin, I would recommend it because it's just like another layer of powder for your oils to get through. Plus, I like how it kind of mattifies my face initially. So when I put my powder foundation on, I can blend it out a lot better than if I were just going straight in with my foundation straight on my skin. Before I do that, I'm just gonna make sure I don't have creasing under my eye. I'm gonna be using my everyday foundation which is mineral fusion. On days and I want my makeup to last longer I will go in with the Cody Air Spun. So anyway I'm gonna go in with my mineral fusion setting powder. I am going to use my Real Techniques fluffy brush and we're gonna talk about brushes and application in a second.
And depending, you know, how oily your skin is might depend on how much powder you put down initially before you even go in with your foundation. My skin is pretty oily, so I like to go in with a generous layer. Next, we're gonna go in with the actual powder foundation. And I have some points to make. So you have different options when it comes to how you actually want to apply your powder foundation. You could use a damp sponge. I've never done that with a powder foundation. Second option would be to use one of these little puff foam whatever these things are, often come in like a compact. I've used these before. These are really good for wiping up a compact powder, patting it in, getting high coverage, right away pretty quickly. I have at times chosen to use one of these. Nowadays, I prefer to use a brush. I found with these, it just gets packed on so densely, it's hard to buff out if you don't want that much powder on your skin. I remember right before I went on Accutane, my freshman year of college, my skin was so bad. Acne covering my entire forehead. I think it was called Color Science. It was a really good powder foundation in a compact and it came with one of these. And I used to just wipe it and just pat it on and just get full coverage right away because that's what I wanted. I had so much acne. Luckily, my skin has never gotten that bad again. In general, I prefer to use a brush. Now, even when it comes to the brush, there's also options within that. I had this Kabuki brush, which I think is from Bare Minerals or something. This is a really dense brush, loose powders or compact powders. You can kind of swirl it and then you can kind of pat it in. It doesn't put it on quite as dense as one of these, but it packs it on pretty dense. I like to use my Real Techniques brush. It's a little looser. Some days I don't want to wear like a full coverage look. I can just loosely put some powder on, even out my skin a little, we're good to go. Or I can use this and I can build coverage. I can just keep patting it on and build up the same coverage as this. The reason I prefer to use a little bit of a fluffier, looser brush these days, even when I wanna pack it on, I find you can maneuver the powder a little better. I'm just talking about what I like. Today, I'm gonna be using a compact. I could see how you would prefer because it'd be less messy. I still like to use the brush because I just like how it applies better and what I do is I just kind of hold it in my hand and then any excess I will dip out of my hand and put it on my face. I always wash my hands before I put makeup on. When I want a little more dense application, I'll just go down and squeeze and kind of create a little bit of a denser brush. This is how we are looking after a healthy layer. So I just wanted to show you close up. So a lot of times when I'm just like going to work or whatever, I'll stop here. Today, since we are slaying, I'm gonna keep packing it on in areas that I need a little more coverage. So now I was holding my compact and I have a bunch of excess in my hand. So I'm just gonna dig it out of my hand, put it on my face so I'm not wasting any. I'm gonna take my compact, I'm gonna dig my finger in and I'm just gonna pack it on these couple areas. Next step, this is optional. Like I've said a million times, I have pretty oily skin. So I like to go in with another layer of translucent powder. Also, how much translucent powder might depend on how long you're gonna wear your makeup for. We basically have our base done. Let me just show you. Typically, when I'm initially done with my powder foundation, I do look a little powdery. I prefer that because I know as the day goes on, my oils will start to come through and it'll look more and more natural. Now, if you did cream products underneath your powder foundation, you might be done with your face right now. I'm gonna bronze just a tad where the sun would naturally hit your face. I'm gonna move on to my contour now. Blush. I'm gonna go through and do my brows and my eyes and just speed it up so you can watch if you want.
Another thing you could do, maybe before your lips, you could go in with a layer of setting spray. I find when I basically only wear powder, I don't really need a setting spray. If you use your powder foundation, you look and you're like, I'm looking a little powdery than I would like to look, then I would definitely recommend going in either with a setting spray or some sort of misting spray just to kind of melt everything together and that will kind of take away the powdery look. The last thing I want to talk about, you might be like, Sasha, where do I start? What powder foundation do you recommend? I personally started with Bare Minerals and I loved Bare Minerals. It's quality makeup, it really is, but it's expensive. Another one I would recommend would be the Mineral Fusion. I've been using this for the last couple years and I really like it, which I actually just watched a video by dermatologist Dr. Dre about clean makeup and basically how it's basically just a marketing scam. So I watched that and I was like, hmm, Mineral Fusion and Bare Minerals, have you been ripping me off? Regardless, I think both of them are quality foundations. They're two brands of makeup that I have continued continuously bought over and over and over again. So I've mostly only dabbled in like mineral foundations. I do also want to say that the quality of the foundation does matter. I remember when I was in college, I had almost ran out of my bare minerals. So I ran to Walmart. I found this really cheap pressed powder, took it home and I put it on. It literally looked like I was wearing nothing. It was the equivalent of a translucent powder, but also a really bad translucent powder. It was just terrible. I had zero coverage. I will be trying some new powder foundation on my channel. I am excited to try some more so you should definitely subscribe to my channel and ring the bell and I hope this video was helpful to you. I love powder foundation. I have oily skin. It works really well for me. I will see you in my next video. Peace out. Bye.